Okay, so as I promised in my previous video for today, I'm going to do a small book haul. I recently freshly received those books from uh, uh, the pu book publishing Capel Ban. And they are this British um, publisher that has many topics that it, that it publishes on. Some of it are magic, some of it are yoga, some of it are like herbalism. And you know, when I went through their, through their catalog, because you can't really get their stuff on Amazon so much, and I got the books that I needed, and I saw them, and, and I saw them, and I bought them. And some of those books are like classics, and some of those books are like you know something that you know you saw maybe elsewhere or reprints. But usually, it's a very high quality uh, publishing house that uh, you know if you're interested in traditional witchcraft especially british traditional witchcraft which is you know pre-wicca or you know newly wrapped wicca that is like you know more traditional or you know so some inspiration books and recipes this is a place to go and search i would put the links in the in the in the bottom now before i begin let me tell you that my first time i tried to buy from them I sort of fade, meaning I did an order, I paid my money, but I didn't get my order, and I had to go to PayPal to PayPal to get my money back. And this was because their father John Day, the owner of a couple ball, died sadly, and it basically left the entire publishing house in a chaos. And um, since it left the publishing house in the chaos, uh, you know, this left a lot of space for a, a confusion and I didn't get my order in any normal amount of time, so I had to get my money back. But now they have this, they have an, a new person uh, which deals with their uh, sending stuff you know, saying, you know, in sending your stuff, and I did a new order directly from her, and I got my books today, uh, a week after I made my, my order, so I'm very happy, and let me share the books that I have received, and tell me please if you know those books in the comments, or am I like, you know, showing you something completely new, okay, so, those are eight books, and I will read to you, you know, I will read to you the back. Magical Instances and Oils by uh, Anna Franklin and I did a review about uh, Hairs and Susan Lavender's Hepcraft and it was a very positive review and mind you I can't really tell you if those books are good or not because I just received them so I will read it back to you. Incense perfumes burned to release fragrant smoke has been used all over the world from ancient time to present days. Resin smoke has always been associating with prayers rising to gods, whatever from a domestic half, a pagan altar, a druid need fire, or the Catholic church for incense burner. Incenses affect our emotions, subtly induces mood, moods, and more uh, on a more profound level, can be used to change the vibration of the atmosphere to the level needed for magical walking or healing. This book shows you how to make magical incenses and oils, how to choose uh, suitable ingredients and how to use those ingredients and oils for best effect. Anna Franklin is, uh, Franklin is a co-author and widely acclaimed herbcraft, shamanistic uh, ritual use of herbs and several other titles in this field. And you know, it's one of the more thickest books that I've got here. And it has all sorts of uh, um, recipes, for instance, you know, um, how to do definite the consecration incense for the wand, for general consecration, um, incenses for love and attraction, you know, if it oils, four elements oils, etc. etc. It's very interesting. You know, I, f I felt we, we really need more. Uh, incense and oil recipes that are not of Cunningham's and this might be the answer okay especially if you live in the British Isles and those plants are available to you I think this would be a good book okay 
aphrodisiacs, Aphrodite's secret, sexuality, sexual dysfunction, and the history, and the history and to A to Z of aphrodisiacs by Linda Louisa Dell. Low sex drive is very common and can affect up to one fifth of the population in any given time. This book details the enormous range of aphrodisiac substances, vitamins, minerals, herbs, essential oils, and drugs that have been reputedly a profound and beneficial effect on the libido. Sex magic, oils, incense, deities, and problems can answer all the de uh, are all detailed here. You know, I walk and I make a lot of love spells, lots and lots of love spells. So, you know, making an aphrodisiac can charge it to give it to a lover is, is basically a love potion. So, this, this is a very interesting book for me, me personally. <coughs> The Rites and Ritual of Traditional Witchcraft by Tony Steele. And I got another book by him. Anyway, this book describes the magical walking and beliefs of a bunch of traditional witchcraft carried by the pagan Friske. I hope that I'm reading this correctly. And surviving into present day. The construction of the use of megaliths and ley, ley lines lands of power, how to tap into dragon or serpent p power latent in the earth, the magical alphabet, runes, law, and deities. The Orea Linda book, reputedly an ancient spell uh, text of magical te uh, teachings, authentic or fake, the magical uh, uses of different types of rocks and metals, energizing and healing the earth and its inhabitants, uh, contacting and walking with the elements. This book is based upon considerable research and practice an experience by the author which uh, is, was taught by this uh, descendant of the pagan Friske or water witches. Contains much uh, previous unpublished material in a readable, challenging and informative text. I like to read about different kinds of magic and how to use it and how people, you know, use the basic uh, principles that, uh, you know, we have everywhere to work with how to look on upon different kinds of symbols and you know how to use those symbols and powers for our own use and another book this author has written which i've gotten is water witches by tony Steele. It goes like this like their fellows lovers of bright colors the gypsies the trend boat families of frisque as uh, they are sometimes call themselves, hide a private pagan religion of their own, concerning it with the earth, and not surprisingly, water. For this reason, they are often called water witches by other boat, say, uh, uh, by other boat families who took more conventional religious outlook. Most of the families have walked boats for, uh, on the river Trent, and later also canals and joined with it were descended from traders who originally came from the Netherlands in the 7th or 8th centuries. Close related to the English in speech, they found a new home there. For many centuries dominated trade in the North Sea, which they called the World Sea, after the most important deity, deities named simply the World, the Old One, the World Serpent. There are a uh, very few water witches family left around those days. Some would say none at all. Over the past 50 years, Moses simply left the waterways and became abroad into the general population. The, the authors in, in, in four months for much of the materials of the books are surviving members of the Groom family, uh, who run a family firm based in Birmingham, the central of the canal uh, network, until it finally forced under by the, recession, the recessions of the early 1980s. Water Witches describes for the first time the way and religions of the frisky pagans. Okay, I'm not the one that really would go with the whole uh, paganism equals witchcraft, and this book assumes it, but I, I, again, I like to see other people's output on this, I like to receive people's, uh, you know, they might use some sort of like a banal tool that, you know, I don't know, like a fork or something in a way that is like special and unique and useful for me today. So, I don't know, I might get inspiration from this book with my own spellcraft. Okay, now the other two are ones that are more well known. One of them is The Mask of Misrule by Nigel Jackson. 
and it is the Horn God and is called in Europe, a unique detailed study of the Horn God in traditional witchcraft of Britain and Europe, concentrating concentrating upon hunting, agricultural, abroad, mystical facets of the most compelling and enduring divine archetypes. Subjects covered include masters, Master of the Beasts in Neolithic iconography, the White Stag of Anywin, and the Horn Gods of Celtica, Carnunus, Gawain, and Fionn. Uh, uh, Wild Edric, Hern the Hall Queen, Raft Murek and Riding the Stang, Stang and the Court of Misrule, The Man in Black and the Road of the Sabbaths, uh, blah blah blah. In addition to the theoretical uh, knowledge, the reader is given a number of traditional rituals corresponding to specific aspects of the old one. This includes the Rite of the Horns of Misrule, the Ceremony of the Red Bones, the knowledge of the green one and the fire of wine. Uh, walking, making this volume a, a ritual esoteric grimoire of the uh, religion of the Horned One. Okay, and the other one is the, called the Horned Piper. This book covers symbolism, archetypes, and myths of traditional crafts of the old religion in the British Isles and Europe. The first section of this book explores the inner symbology and the mytho-poetics of old witchcraft religion. This, this is followed by sections giving practical treatment of the sacred cycle, the walking tools, incantations, spells, and path walking, which are by very much welcome. There are also sections on spirit lines, knots and thread lines, and magic, together with ancestral fairy teachings. The text is highlighted with, uh, with uh, the author original artwork. We, we will see about this. That is a radical and a fresh reappraisal of authentic witch law, which may provide walking alternative to walking mainstream trends in Wicca. A and this is a selling point. Well, it does have some interesting artwork. Look at something that uh, influenced the uh, Robin Artisan very much. I'm not sure which came first, but I think this one came first. But, you know, it's an interesting book. I need to read it and I will tell you how it goes. You see, it's a very thin pamphlet. It has like 115 uh, pages. It's, it's small. It's interesting. I want to read it. The other two, I have only other two. I bought uh, eight books. Is Treading the Mill, Practical Craft Walking in Modern Traditional Witchcraft by Nigel G. Pearson. Starting with explanation and defining, the group goes on to contain one, crafting the compass, introduction, crafting the compass, tools, calling the directions, contacts of the rights, closing statements and thanks, honoring the directions, opening and dismissal the compass, a place of walking as examples. Two, one crafting, what is a want? Aspects of traditional tree law, dryads, types of woods, the tree properties and attributes, cutting wood for magical purpose, Creating your wand, finishing off your wand, a hallowing rite. Three, rising the cups, introduction, the cup, raising the cup, wines, the recipes, ad other brews, which is, you must admit, is interesting. Four, uh, entering the twilight, techniques to focus, concentration, visualization, raising energy, trans walk and, proje and projection. Five, spellcrafting. What is a spell? Sp charms and chants, herbal magic and world cunning. Simple potions, oils and lotions, elemental and nature magic. On collecting plants, materials for magical use. Six, spirits walking, introduction. Spirits in the natural world, spirits of the home and hearth. Concerning familiars, the fetch, body, the ancestors and the mighty dead. The elven kind and the, and, uh, the fairy folk. Seven, Approaching powers, introduction, the gods, kings of the woodlands, lord of the mound, master of light, the goddess, bright queen, dark queen. Anyway, I was looking for this book and it came highly recommended to me. <coughs> oh, also it does have its own artwork, which is inspiring. And I really want to read this. I really want to read the spells in here. I want to see what's going on here, okay? And this was also, it was unavailable for a very long time, and I'm happy that I managed to get it. And the last one is A Witch's Mirror, The Art of Making Magic by Levana Morgan. 
and this one is actually being discussed upon in a, in a, in depth in, in a video called on the black chair with Levana Morgan the witch's mirror and she says what it has in it I, I will link to that also and it goes like this this book is about practical uh, witchcraft and magic making not a book of formal rituals of witchcraft Levana has been walking as a witch for over 30 years and for most of the time has lived in Devon in the southwest England with a wealth of magical traditions which are still observed in some of the more rural areas. It has shaped her witchcraft over the years and made it what it is. Magic is something that should be lived. Much of the magic in this book is about uh, apparently simple things. It is the author's belief that these things experienced with all the senses and done with intent can keep the forms of magic and have the most profound effect and, and be just as powerful as complex rituals, if not more so. Levana was fortunate to have two wonderful um, magical teachers. There was some chocolate on it for some weird reason. Hillwood Wake and a lifetime experience. Uh, uh, would Wake had a lifetime experience of both uh, witchcraft and ritual magic, which has shared generously how to worship the gods and rituals and how to voyage into the spirit world, how to look and to listen and to walk with the hidden senses, when to act and when to steal and then when to do nothing. The other Cecil Williamson, who founded the Museum of Witchcraft, spent his life learning the ways of the traditional witch. He taught uh, some of the old witchcraft that was used in Devon, spells, charms, and myriad of ways interacting with the spirit world. The aim of this book uh, to be uh, used rather than a recipe book to create your own magic and all that it will help to develop your own uh, ways of walking. It contains simple but profound magical techniques with uh, plenty of practical op projects for you to take, let the spirit guide you and make your own magic. You do not need any, uh, any specialist art or craft spills, skills, just enthusiasm, dedication and a desire to walk magic. A visiting witch once commented jokingly that a meeting in Levana's common resembled an alternative woman institute meeting uh, and, at, uh, ha, and uh, she has always cherished that description. These books aim to pass this experience ex uh, uh, approach to, the, to witchcraft. All the craft and making activities described in this book are reasonably self and they have been tried and tested. They are intended for told adults. Please do try this at home. Sounds promising, isn't it? Well, I will review some of this as I uh, as I read them. Those are eight books. Books. It's a project for me. It will take me a while to go through them. I actually ordered some other capable uh, books from uh, other places, and as I receive as I receive them, I will do a book review. Okay. So. Thank you for listening and I hope this haul was interesting to you and I hope this enticed you to get some good books of your own. Goodbye and a share.